Hey, we're Mads and Dan, and we're travelling around Australia in our self-converted van, Rio. After a week in the Sundays, we first head to the Yunjala National Park in the Mackay region to check out the Finch Hatton Gorge and the weird and wonderful platypus. Then we head to the Capricorn Coast, a region that has everything you could ever want for an Australian road trip. Over the next week, we explore the small beach town of Yapoon and the pine tree filled by Field National Park. We also visit the tropical Kabul Islands archipelago, which we will show you in our next video. Mountains in Yunjela National Park. Definitely um, saying that wrong, but yeah. you know where we are. Yeah, basically the mountain area near Mackay. Um, it has platypus. Yeah, so we're looking for platypus. He's like going yeah. alongside the log. Yeah. We just saw two platypus. Oh. Yeah, that was awesome. I've never seen a platypus before, so yeah, <clears throat> it's so cool seeing them just like glide around and dive looking for food yeah. so it was really cool so we just um found some uh guide books that we picked up when we were traveling through the outback actually and flicking through the Mackay region for the first time which we should, probably should have done yesterday um <laughs> it's actually pronounced young gala which means land of the clouds um named by the indigenous uh inhabitants and traditional owners and i can agree it is the land of the clouds. As you can see we have a beautiful white cloud in here to my right. Yeah. Gorgeous views. Wow. <laughs> so we're staying at the Leap Hotel. It's um actually 19 kilometers to be specific from Mackay. <laughs> it is free but they ask that you support the pub in some way. So Mads and I both just had a drink. They grow them their own bananas here and there's a creek and I mean the grass is pretty nice so like the whole campsite's pretty good. <laughs> so I'm it's a good patch of grass. Yeah. So we're just yeah. we're just parked Not bad up, for a free camp. Having a beer. Uh, we are at a roadside. 
roadside stop in Marlborough. Yeah, it's next to the servo. Today we're heading down to Yapoon. We both just went for a run, which was heaps nice. It was a really good Esplanade to run down. Dan did his first ever 10K, and I'm so proud of him. <laughs> it's super nice here in Yapoon. It looks like there's a fair on. So we're just gonna go shower at the hot showers in the lagoon. The Yapoon Lagoon is the most beautiful, free public pool we have ever seen. It is almost worth even just stopping in Yapoon just to have a swim here. Yapoon also has an amazing French bakery and some great cafes and bars. We didn't really know what to expect from Yapoon, but it surprised us in such a good way. Day. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you noticed, but <laughs> this area is really windy, so we save a couple bucks on dryers. So. Yeah. Mexican, we've got pulled jackfruit tacos and halloumi tacos. Jackfruit, pepper, red cabbage, salsa, halloumi, chili, avo, sweet corn, tacos, and Tabasco. Yeah. <laughs> we stayed last night at Upper Stony Creek Campground in Byfield National Park, just north of Yapoon. Um, it was super nice, nice to be in the woods in a national park. It's right next to the creek, which we're gonna go check out now, but anything is heaps of Aussies, so bring, bring your Aussie spray. <laughs> We've been absolutely chomped. It's kind of like the Carvel Spa Falls. I was gonna go for a swim, dip the toe in, but the water's a bit stagnant because um, we're kind of approaching the near end of dry season. So after such a busy day yesterday exploring Great Capital, we're so excited to be spending today just um, in the National Park and we've got this really nice campsite, it's called um, Red Rock Camping Ground and it's pretty empty, like we're pretty much everyone's cleared out this morning and it's very luscious and lovely and yeah we're just making brunch um, and just going to have a really chilled day. Mexican potato hash for brunch. Yeah. I can't, I know it's not fair if I went with you. This looks so good. Sunday brunch. <laughs> I'm 
babe. Thanks. Oh, we're so in love with this campsite. Dan has just been chopping some wood, which we found people had left some in their next door campsite and had left them this morning when they packed up. So we got that and chopped up some and we've got the campfire going. And it's just actually, this is the nicest campground we've been in for a while. And it's only $6.75 per person because it's National Park. And the space is a huge, the flat ground is kind of hard to find, but that's the only negative we can say. Like we're surrounded by trees, palm trees and pine trees. And it's just, we're the only ones here. It's a Sunday and no one else is here. So <laughs> we've got it all to ourselves. It's so quiet and lovely. Definitely recommend this um, a lot more than Upper Stony. Just the road getting here, way easier. Um, location, campground, all of it, I would recommend Red Rock a lot more. Um, and then it's not a far drive to get to Upper Stony. So there's that um, blue lake there that, or creek that people like to see. So I would recommend staying at Red Rock and then you just drive, it's like eight kilometers down the dirt road and then there is a good day use area at Upper Stony if you want but Red Rock has signal it has nice campsites big it's got palm trees the facilities are better um, and overall you know it gets a lot more sun so it's just a lot nicer we are just leaving Bofield National Park now um, we absolutely love it here, but the one downside is the mosquitoes are monstrous. Like, they're huge, and there's just so many of them. We've been in the car for like five minutes, I think we've killed six or something. Oh, they're so bad, and we're absolutely bitten alive. It was much better when we had the campfire going <coughs> last night, so definitely bring firewood and heaps of mozzie spray. Yeah, that's the one top tip. <laughs> We just went to the lagoon for the last time and used the swimming pool and the showers, hot showers. But we're leaving the lagoon today, so excited to see what the next few days have. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss our next video when we visit one of Queensland's best kept secrets. We would like to acknowledge and pay our respects to the traditional owners of the lands on which this video was filmed, the Biriguba, Yoruburra, Wapabura and Durrambul people, and extend that respect to other Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures. <laughs>